Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah. I am so glad that you stopped by and clicked on this video. Please go down and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, click that little bell that is right beside the red subscribe button. It just notifies you of when I post a brand new video so you don't miss another video like this one. Guys, this is the moment you've been waiting for. I'm sharing with you what's in my volleyball bag. Club edition. What? You guys loved my what's in my volleyball bag video for school ball. You guys went crazy over that. I am so excited to share with you what is in my club volleyball bag. Now, as you can see, I have a totally different bag. I am now playing for um, a different club than I played for last year. Um, I love my club so much. Um, I love my team. If you guys have missed the vlogs that I have done with my team, whether it was a practice, a tournament, a Christmas movie night, I will leave those linked up in the information button up here and also down below. Um, I love my team. You guys will love them too. They're so, so funny and they're crazy. Um, and I love them so much. I do take several different things with me. I do have some different things now than I did during school ball season. So I'm very excited to share those with you and um, I'm just very excited. Um, let's get into what is in my volleyball bag. Club edition. Right off the bat, I'm gonna go ahead and say I just got my hair redone, just got it re-highlighted. I know, I know, I know. It is a lot lighter than my eyebrows. I get all these questions. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. My eyebrows are naturally this dark. My hair is naturally this color right here. Um, a lot of people have darker eyebrows naturally than their hair is, so um, don't comment rude things about it, please. My eyebrows are naturally this thick, naturally this dark, naturally this shaped, um, and my hair is naturally lighter, so <laughs> hold all the rude comments, please. Let's go ahead and get into this video. So we're just going to go ahead with my bag. Um, this is ASICS. We wear all ASICS stuff. <laughs> Um, and it is a very nice bag. I really, really like this bag. I went ahead and put tape over this so I don't have to cover it up. Um, it's just my club info. It has our club logo on it, and it also has the gym that, is it a gym? It's kind of, it is a gym. It's like a sports therapy, sports training, rehab kind of place. I don't know. It's just where we work out. Um, and where we do weight training. So yeah, that's what's on the front. It also has my number. I am number three for club season. I'm usually 11, um, but a girl on my team, Julia, already had 11. So I had to pick another number. And usually my second pick is number seven. Another girl on my team, Essie, already had seven. So I went with three, because I was born on May 3rd. So, you know. Everything else on the outside, I have this little hang tag from when we went to a winter bump this past January. I'll leave the vlogs linked up here. Um, and I also have a little hand sanitizer. This is Dancing Waters. It does not smell like Dancing Waters. It smells kind of weird. Um, but you know, gotta be clean. Baby clip that has hair bands on it because literally every one on my team asks me for a hair band. Mainly Carly. Carly can never keep up with them. It's okay, I still love you, Carly. And this is a lanyard that I also got from Winter Bump. So I've got these two little hangy things. Just makes me feel very official. It has a little zipper pouch on this side. Usually I keep, I don't know, snacks in it sometimes. And then over here, got my water bottle. I just got this water bottle and I stink and love it. Dropped it the other night and it has some scratches on it. I got this thing from Walmart. Um, I got it while we were at Winter Bump because <laughs> my other water bottle broke. Um, this one, I don't know what brand it is. It's just got this little, I don't, I think it's a buffalo. I'm pretty sure it's a buffalo. Um, I don't know, you can't see. It's got a little buffalo on it and it's really, really pretty in the right light. It has sparkles. I, I like that. And last night at practice, I put ice in here. It is currently <laughs> 8 o'clock the next night and, um... There's still ice in here from last night. So over 24 hours, we're still going strong. I think it was $8 maybe. So go see if you can find one of these at Walmart. It's amazing. Enough about my water bottle. Let's get into the inside. Okay, I'm gonna set this on my table right here. 
just because it's going to be easier. Very front pocket, as you can see, I'm just going to pull stuff out um, so it's easier because this bag is extremely heavy. Um, I usually keep my phone in here. I get a lot of questions. Why do I keep my phone in my volleyball bag? Where else am I going to put it? <laughs> don't understand. But I keep my phone in my volleyball bag just because I listen to music a lot of times, so I need my phone for that. Um, and to take pictures, to film my teammates doing weird things while we're on break. I'm so funny looking. Wait, 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 wait. Boom. <laughs> in between games at tournaments, I don't know. I just keep my phone in here, okay? You know, normal. Deodorant. That is so important. Um, this is the Old Spice Fiji. Yeah, I use men's deodorant. It lasts so much better and works so much better than girls' deodorant. This smells like the beach. It smells so good. So go get Old Spice Fiji. It's amazing. I'm pretty sure these were in here from last volleyball bag video. <laughs> Nature Valley granola cups. I said I really, really like them. I do like them. I just forget I have them. I have a headband and a string. Oh, it has deodorant on it. That's cool. Um, nice. Black headband. You know, nothing special about that. Um, I also have some tape. This tape is very nice. I used to use this when I danced and I had to tape my toes for point. Um, so got some tape because you never know what you're gonna hurt, especially with me. Fragrance mist. This is Velvet Sugar. Um, from Bath and Body Works and then I also have a little hairspray I got a random band-aid. Oh look I got some more fragrance mist. This is Bali Blue Surf. This one smells so good. It smells like the beach. It's amazing Um, what else do I have in here? Oh look I got another headband. This is my Nike one. My Nike tie one that makes me feel like a sushi chef Very cool. Oh look I got another band-aid. I got my whistle because, you know, when you go to tournaments, you got an R2, which, if you don't know, up ref, down ref, R1 is up ref, R2 is down ref. And then, you know, you just got to do all the refing stuff. So, I have been R2 once. It was very terrifying um, because, you know, it's just kind of terrifying. Especially when you've got the scary coaches and the scary parents that yell at you. Um, I'm still alive, so that's good. Um, very, very terrifying experience. But, you know, gotta have the whistle so you can make calls. I got some more tape. This is a waterproof adhesive tape. I actually do use this a lot. Um, let's see, what else is in here? Oh, I've been looking for this. My favorite lip balm in the entire universe. The Vaseline Lip Therapy Advanced Healing. The best stuff ever. Have used this for a long time. I go through so many tubes. So many tubes. Oh my goodness. I also have another fragrance mist. Endless Weekend. I like to have options. Another band-aid. The pin. Um, oh look, another band-aid. I really should put them in something. I have a binder clip with um, a headband and some more um, hair bands. So, you know Carly, I got you. More band-aids. Apparently I'm planning on getting hurt. Wait, is this chocolate? Oh, it's a peppermint. Never mind. I have a smushed cliff bar, chocolate chip flavor. Oh look, another band-aid. Very helpful. If you need a band-aid, I got you. My little cool invention, the chapstick container with um, bobby pins. I got a comment on my last video saying this was genius. Thank you, thank you very much. I thought of it on my own completely, like actually on my own. Go meet some lip balm and some mints and some hair elastics, scissors. My team makes fun of me because I literally have everything that I could possibly need. They're like, oh my goodness, what do you have in your bag? Like, do you have a hair elastic? Do you have a band-aid? Do you have lip balm? Do you have a bobby pin? Do you have tape? Like I've got the, I've got, I've got you. And if you need a sugar rush, I got Starburst, which had been in here for a very long time, but I got Starburst. Oh look, some trash, nice. Oh and look, I got um, a little medicine container, which has hair elastics, earrings, and a hairband. I was wondering where all my lip balm went, and I found it. Um, I have three things of lip balm. Like I said, they're my favorite. I don't know how I'm gonna fit all this back in here. I guess that's a problem for another day. Now it's time to open the big pouch. I'm pretty sure that was everything in the other one. Um, I don't know how all of this stuff fits in here. It just kind of does. I'm pretty sure this bag is a Mary Poppins bag and I am secretly Mary Poppins because I'm practically perfect in every way. Just kidding, not true. Super important on my shoes. I got a lot of questions on my last video where I got these shoes. They don't sell these shoes in any store. <laughs> 
ever. Um, and I ordered mine from Dick Sporting Goods. These are the Nike Volley Zoom Hyper Spikes. Yeah, Volley Zoom, I think. If you wanna know, I wear a size, what size do I wear? I wear a size nine. I also have this, this is my little camera bag. It has all my gear in it. Um, I usually have the camera in here, um, but I'm filming on that right now. I've got my little Altoids container that contains a bunch of batteries and SD cards and um, my phone number, just in case if these get lost, because that's happened before. I have a speaker, because we like to jam for practices and tournaments and in between games. We love to jam, so this is a speaker that I got on Amazon. It is a D-Night Magic Box 2. I really like it. It's a nice speaker, I mean. Um, I always keep an extra pair of spandex in here. I actually hate these spandex. Sorry, Asics. Uh, I hate these spandex so much. These are just, I don't know, they're the Asics 4 inch. I hate these. These are so thin, I'm sorry. I don't like them. Um, I also keep my headphones. These are my JBL headphones that came with my MacBook Pro. Um, I like them. They're pretty cool. They're just headphones. They're wireless, which is very, very nice. They're Bluetooth. I accidentally turned them on. Um, they're nice headphones. I like them. They fold up. They're very compact. You know, they're cool. I like to jam. Tape. These are, I don't know, it's like the Ace tape. Um, I don't know. It's just... It's good. I have a lot of problems with this thumb. I've jammed it so many times. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've done some kind of internal damage to it. But my trainer recommended taping this for every practice and game. So I have to tape my thumb. Um, and so I have two different rolls because there's two different things you have to do with them. So long story, I just tape my thumb because I have a lot of problems with it. Yay, the battery died. So that's probably why it looks different. Got a hoodie. Because tournaments are freezing. A lot of times those sports plexes, convention centers, whatever you play in, they're really, really cold because it gets really hot in there. Once you're playing and you play like four games in one day, you're burning up. Um, but when you first get there and when you're about to leave, it's freezing. Um, so I always take a sweatshirt or hoodie or jacket or something with me. Um, this is my favorite hoodie. This is my Walt Disney World um, Magic Kingdom hoodie that I got at Disney. I wear it all the time. I love this sweatshirt, it's amazing. I've got <laughs> some knee pads and um, three pairs of them. Um, these white ones are from last club season. These are the Under Armour ones. I don't love them, that's why I don't wear them. Um, these are just, I got the wrong kind. You need the ones with like the different back, the different, um, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> The different elastic, I don't know if that's what they're called, but um, they're not my favorite. I don't love them. There's another Under Armour kind that I meant to get, but instead I got these. Um, and same with uh, my other Under Armour ones. These I used for two seasons. These are actually dead. There's hardly any padding left in these knee pads because I have worn them down so much and they were very thin to begin with. Like I said, I got the wrong one. If I go back to getting Under Armour knee pads, I want to get the ones with the other color elastic. Is this elastic? I don't know. It's just behind the knee. It's just a different color. Um, so I got the wrong ones, but I did like these. These last me for two seasons and they have been very good knee pads, um, but they just died because I use them all the time and they're, they're dead. For this club season, I got the Nike ones. I really like these. They're very, very nice and very, very comfortable. Um, they, they're nice. I like them. I have no complaints. I have my favorite product on the face of the planet, this deodorant spray. I have two of them by degree. I have two different scents. Um, I love these so much. I use them on my knee pads, my shoes. Um, they keep my bag smelling good. These are just amazing and the little thing locks in place so they don't spray all over the place while your bag is just sitting down or you're walking across the street and all of a sudden this thing basically explodes in your bag and you got a tropical vacation inside your backpack. So, you know, just spray this all over your life, you know. Just, you know, clean it up. <coughs> oh, that's a lot. <coughs> Stuff is great. And all of Whoopsie. Daisy. Okay. Guess that's why my water bottle's dented. 
I have KFT tape. This stuff is a lifesaver. When I pull a muscle, when I when I do anything, KFT tape is my best friend. Gotta have orange because that's my team colors now. I look horrible in orange, but now they're my team colors, so I gotta love orange. Yay! I have a baby first aid kit because um, if I didn't have enough band-aids um, in the front pocket, I have more. Um, I have an extra pair of shorts. These are just the Nike ones that I love so much. Um, these are just fancy. I like these Nike ones. Um, I, these are my favorite shorts um, and I love them. So I wear them just in case if I forget sweatpants or something. And I also have mini bags for um, ice because get hurt a lot. But at tournaments, they usually have bags or a therapist there that can wrap you up. So that's very, very helpful because I've had to do it once. Um, when we were at Winter Bump, I hurt my knee. <laughs> so I had to get wrapped up. I'll insert that picture right here. I felt like a college player, you know, being all wrapped up. It was kind of cool, except it hurt because my knee hurt. And the ice was very cold. But other than that, it was a good experience. I have a water bottle in here because I get very thirsty. And last but not least, I have one of these little scent thingies that makes your bag smell good. That is everything inside of my volleyball bag. I want to share a couple things with you that I do take to tournaments that don't fit in my bag. Um, I always, 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 always take a pillow. Pillows are the most essential things when you are playing at volleyball tournaments because you do get breaks. They are few and far between, but you do usually get at least one one hour break. Sometimes you may get two. Um, and so pillows are very, very, very essential because um, chairs are not comfortable, bleachers are not comfortable, you're tired, you're exhausted, and you just want to lay on the floor with a blanket and a pillow and go to sleep, which I have done before. And I also take a blanket. I've had this blanket for nine years. It's my favorite. So these are essentials for a volleyball tournament. I also take a ton of snacks because I get very, very hungry. I lose energy so quick. So some of my favorite snacks are apples and peanut butter. I only like Granny Smith apples and peanut butter. Those are amazing. Um, I also like Pringles. <laughs> not as healthy. Um, I like Reese Cups. I also take Gatorade. I like to drink one throughout the tournament to boost up my energy and it gives me electrolytes. I used a big word. I take a lot of fruit, um, a lot of vegetables, things like that. If you guys want me to do a, a volleyball tournament snack video, I would totally do that. Um, so if you want to know more ideas for snacks for volleyball tournaments, let me know. Let me know a good idea so let me know if you guys want me to do that um and i'm also going to hope to do a pack with me for an overnight tournament all right i will see you guys next week for another video please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and please hit that subscribe button down below thank you so much for all your love and support and i love you guys so much i will see you guys next week for another video bye look at the curls they're so cute